What do you think about the military? How much money we're spending on the military, which is more than half the budget? Exactly. So we and we're spread out too thin, in my opinion, um, in the military. And I think we as Americans need to take care of America. We need to take care of our baby boomers. We need to take care of our elderly. Make sure they're all covered. And we want this on YouTube because the the big media doesn't cover the things we'd like to ask. So we would love your opinion. How you understand the single payer plan or um, or universal health care? Um, well, I've worked in health insurance before, and I think the idea of a single payer is great for people who need coverage, who don't have coverage. I think that the idea of competition is a good idea, but I don't necessarily feel that the health insurance companies are doing the right thing at this point in time. Or What, what is your response to people who say all the major industrialized nations in the world have a universal health care pro program that is not related to their job and covers everything? What I say is that this is the best country in the world. And I see. We have a very functioning <laughs> health care system right now. Canada does not. Right, right. Well, I, I have read, and this is not part of my script, that many people are going out because they're getting paid by, by companies to go out and make, uh, uh, make some of these statements and protest. Uh, because yeah. they're paid. Yeah, and if that is the case, I don't think that they're thinking that all the way through because sometimes their actions might lead to the type of legislation or the lack of legislation right, right. that will leave a lot of people without health care or without an active voice in the government. Child mortality, for example, in this country is way, way low, beyond some of some of the third world countries. Yes, it's unacceptable, and, and there's no reason why we should have that with available resources um, right down the street within the same city or the same um, area where people live. Uh, what do you think of single payer? Oh, all the way. All the way. Anything else is just going to be a band-aid. It's going to... I mean, I guess the public option doesn't seem like a terrible idea, because eventually um, either competition will grow so fierce that prices go down, but single payers the way the smart people do it. So, yeah. and a public option, it may eventually come to a single payer. That's fine. That'd yeah. be great. Maybe it's a good first step. That would be great. I know. That's good. Okay. How do you feel about universal care, which would cover catastrophic illness? Universal care would cover uh, people from cradle to grave, and would be what most the industrialized nations of the world have. Well, I have mixed feelings about it because I think that basically the people that have coverage are going to be paying for the people that don't have coverage. Yes. What do you think we can do about the people who are, who are paid to attend meetings and disrupt them? Uh, be, uh, I'm not the sure we can do anything. I think they have the legal right to be there. And Well, we know. have to out-organize them, it appears to me. Maybe so. I'm, I'm sure you realize that 30 percent of the cost of the insurance plans are, are devoted to overhead, to administrative yes. costs. Yes. And under a universal plan, which many, as I said, European countries have, industrialized countries have, uh, that's three. That would be that would be much less. At that 30 percent would be it would be three three percent for Medicare. That's the that's the administrative cost. Okay. So that would make a big difference. Right. It would absolutely. So 27 percent. The the irony is that right now, the corporate corporation is between the doctor and patient, and corporations do deny coverage. I agree. So it's I think already that, rationed. Right, and they make profits by rationing the health care. Um,